The first Sunday of Advent, December 3rd, begins a year of celebration. It is the 150th anniversary of the founding of the Diocese of Scranton. It was actually March 3rd, 1868, that the Holy Father at the time, Blessed Pius IX, had signed the decree that was the actual founding date. The Catholic Church in the Diocese of Scranton has influenced the culture and the people. In its 150 years, the diocese has influenced many facets of our regional history, establishing institutions of education, health care, and industry. The first Catholic presence of record in northeastern Pennsylvania occurred from 1793 to 1804, when a group of French aristocrats settled in Bradford County. They called their community Azelium. They were planning to receive emigres fleeing the revolution. That never really amounted to a whole lot, but that was the very first beginnings of uh, the Catholic faith in the land that is now the Diocese of Scranton. The next wave of Catholic immigrants would settle in Silver Lake in Susquehanna County and build St. Augustine, the first church in the diocese. Silver Lake is particularly significant because it had uh, the very first population of uh, Irish Catholic immigrants developing the farms. Susquehanna County remained largely rural, but places like St. Joseph and Silver Lake, Friendsville, they all present a unique story in themselves of uh, immigration and of uh, pioneer Catholics who had uh, an enormous, an enormous Catholic faith. From that first mass for the French in Bradford County to the arrival of German and Irish immigrants, the Catholic population began to grow. So that just after the Civil War in 1866, there was a plenary council, an assembly of all the bishops in the United States at the time. And in that council, they suggested that a diocese be established here in Scranton, but Scranton is the sea city, the center of that diocese. And that was sent over in 1866 and in 1868, two years later, all preparations were in order, and Blessed Pius IX decreed the establishment of the diocese and cut off 10 counties from the Diocese of Philadelphia. Of course, a few years later, Lackawanna County was formed and became the 11th county that we have today. The Scranton Diocese, if you look at a map of Pennsylvania, it's the upper right quadrant. It's 11 counties in northeastern and north central Pennsylvania. The breadth of the diocese can be seen most fervently in the institutions that prepare and serve its community. The various religious orders came to the diocese with a specific apostolate or mission in mind. The Sisters Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which were started right here in America, they came with an education apostolate. The IHM Sisters were one of the first religious orders to arrive in the area. They've been providing education and health care since 1858 throughout the 11 counties of the Diocese of Scranton. Throughout the diocese, there are four Catholic colleges and universities, four diocesan high schools, and 16 elementary schools. The IHM Sisters, the Christian Brothers, the Jesuits, and the Sisters of Mercy are among the many religious communities who have made significant contributions to northeastern Pennsylvania. The Sisters of Mercy are originally uh, an order started in Ireland, but they came with an 
education apostolate, and a nursing apostolate. So the Mercy Hospitals that were in Scranton and Wilkesbury, the Mercy Center in Dallas is still there. The presence of the church right from colonial days has made an enormous difference in the American uh, ethos and the American psyche because wherever the church plants herself, she becomes in a tremendously effective instrument for the better.